James Russell Jones was born on December 31, 1942, to Russell and Jacqueline Jones. He was an adventurous child who excelled in school, was a talented thespian, and played first doubles on the high school tennis team. He even served as art director for a junior achievement television program, which he later learned was actually a worker co-op. After graduating from high school in 1961, Jim attended the University of Michigan, where he moved into his first co-op during his sophomore year. Needless to say, Jim was hooked. By the second semester, he had been elected House President and served on several intercooperative council committees. During college, he also developed a love for international affairs, and upon graduating in 1967, he joined the Peace Corps and spent three years in Western Samoa. In 1971, Jim began graduate work in art education at Michigan State University, where, not surprisingly, he lived in a co-op. But Jim wasn't satisfied with just living in a cooperative. He needed to do more. So he began talking to the other East Lansing co-ops about merging into one organization to help improve their operations and ensure their longevity. The MSU Student Housing Cooperative was thus born, transforming the MSU co-ops from a collection of struggling independent co-op houses to an association with the central office that still exists today. Jim served as the organization's first manager. That very same year, he began serving on NASCO's first board of directors. He also met two of his mentors during that time, Jack and Connie McClanahan. In 1974, Jim became the first full-time manager of College Houses, Inc. in Austin, Texas, building it into one of the premier student housing co-ops in the country. He was active in the Austin community, helping to organize the Wheatsville Food Co-op. He also started a nonprofit association that is now one of the largest affordable housing providers in Texas. In 1977, he was the primary organizer of Wind Through the Pines, an educational symposium focused on motivation and participation in the cooperative movement. He enlisted Jerry Voorhees to participate as keynote speaker and brought together many other distinguished cooperators from around the United States and Canada. In 1979, after a five-month sabbatical spent traveling and studying the cooperatives and credit unions in New Zealand, Australia, and Fiji, Jim returned to Austin and proposed to Linda Youngblood. The two were married that summer. Their son Travis was born in 1985, and their son Eric was born three years later. Jim and Linda moved to Ann Arbor, Michigan in 1982, where Jim became the executive director of NASCO. Jim's leadership helped NASCO become the primary trainer for the growing food cooperative movement, as well as the Trade and Educational Association for Student Co-ops. Under his leadership, participation in the annual NASCO Institute swelled to over 450. Two years later, Jim became the executive director of the Intercooperative Council at the University of Michigan. During his 15-year tenure at ICC, Jim grew its membership by 20%, developed an award-winning educational program, and launched an extremely effective alumni program. His Cooperator in Residence program, which brought distinguished cooperators from other countries to live in the ICC houses while learning about American cooperatives, married his interest in international affairs and his deep belief in co-op education. During this time, Jim remained involved with NASCO, helping to establish and fund NASCO Properties, a national title holding land trust for cooperatives, and the Campus Cooperative Development Corporation, which acts as a developer of student housing co-ops in the United States and Canada. In 1999, he became manager of NASCO Properties, and over the next nine years, he expanded its holdings from six houses in four states to 15 buildings in six states. He also led NASCO's involvement in turnaround and rescue efforts across the country, rescuing nearly a dozen student co-ops from collapse. From 2003 to 2006, 
Jim was called upon to help NASCO restructure its organizational systems for greater efficiency, and once again served as its executive director. He again became active in educational efforts, ranging from workshops across the country to restarting the Emerging Cooperative Leaders Program under NASCO sponsorship. Throughout his career, Jim has chosen to advance the cooperative cause rather than to advance his personal career or wealth. He has focused on student co-ops, understanding that if cooperative principles can be instilled during this formative age, they will impact people, their families, and their communities throughout their lives. His legacy to cooperatives is not only the hundreds of housing co-op units he has created, but also the generations of co-op leaders that have emerged and will continue to emerge from these houses. For this, we are pleased to honor Jim Jones with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame.